Welcome to this free mandolin lesson on the fiddle tune I know as Goodbye Liza Jane. There's quite a few versions of this tune around, so this is just my version of it. So if you know another one, please stick with that. Um, this is aimed at intermediate players. We're going to start by learning the basic melody, um, and then we're going to do a little something different with it. We're going to add some little drones, and that will hopefully end up sounding a bit like this. So we need to start with our basic melody before we can start adding drones and this tune is not too difficult for intermediate players but what you always need to watch out for the, the melody is the main melody is uh, quite slow so and the number of people who play that too fast so that when they come to the end of the a part you have to fit a lot of notes in at too fast a speed so it's almost worth with a tune like this, just go to the hardest part, which from, from, in my opinion is the last phrase of the A part, and work out what speed you can play that comfortably and then start the tune. We don't want you going, and then you've got to go, it's just not, it's not a nice thing to, or slowing down, which is even worse. So, um, we're going to be playing this at about 107, which is a, a speed I think you should be able to play this tune, or that phrase, and that may make the A part seem slow, but it won't be slow when you come to that section. So, that's an important thing I want you to take away, is um, you never play a tune at the speed of the easiest section. You always set your speed at the speed you can play the hardest section. So we're just going to dive straight in, let's have a play of the A part, and I will put that metronome, I'll just take it off mute, and there it is. So this will be after 3, 4, 1, um, and we'll just dive straight in, and if you want the tab for this, it's included on the free PDF below. Um, please do download that and have that in front of you, so you're not having to work this out by ear as well. Um, and let's do this after a 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. And one, two, three, four, one. Three, four. Three, four. And again. And then our B part is relatively sim similar in terms of difficulty and has that same phrase at the end. So again, I'm just going to dive straight in and play it after four. Now one, two, three, four. Okay, so how do we make that a bit harder? So there is a lot of space in that opening phrase. There's a lot of notes not being used there. So very simply, we can just insert some open strings because we're in the key of A. So this E, if we drone, if we can somehow drone this E, it will sound quite nice. Kind of get that sound. Um, so if we take the first phrase as our example. After that first A there, we can add a little a down and up on the E string. And then we can do that after each note. So simple as that. So we're just adding some uh, open E strings in the gaps between our melody. 
and it's we're trying to imitate a sort of a fiddle drone, an old time drone. You could do this um, like as a double stop with the open string, but that's a different technique for a different lesson. Um, and then in bar three and four of um, the eight, the first phrase. I'm hopefully showing how you don't necessarily have to, heave, have to even put lots of upstrokes in. You can just go. So there are even just downstrokes on the open E and still has the same effect. So you could even uh, take away that upstroke in the first, part, first phrase by going. doing a downstroke as a drone. Um, so in the tab below I have done the whole tune um, and included in the B part I put a little uh, a little strum uh, just to note that change to the D chord. Um, so we're going to play through it together. Um, I'm going to have the metronome set at the same speed because I think it's an achievable speed for you. If it's too fast to start with you can press the cog select playback speed and slow me down to 75 or 75 or 50 percent um, and let's just dive in and try and play it uh, as written so two a's two b's after one two three four one a one two three four one So that is your intermediate version of um, filling out the melody. Um, I'm not going to talk about the chords in this lesson. I'm going to come back to the chords next month. So please do hit subscribe while you're here. Head over to mandomike.com and sign up to the mailing list so you get next month's lessons direct to your inbox. We're going to talk about some interesting ways of playing the chords. Um, I just want you to focus on uh, getting those drones in. And the most important thing is getting the notes as clean as you can. So if you're going sort of stumbling over the notes, the effect won't be the same. What you want is all notes ringing out. So almost like we're a harp. So that, that's still going on. We don't want, you want that sound going on underneath. So that really focus on getting those notes clean, making them last as long as you can. And it'll create that really nice filled out sound that we want. Um, uh, for Goodbye Liza Jane. If you've mastered that version, I suggest you head over to the advanced lesson, which I've linked below, where we're going to take that concept even further and we're going to do a cross-picking version of Goodbye Liza Jane. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next month for the chords to Goodbye Liza Jane.